Hello, I'm ZZ and in this video I will present you the P-Boot Arc Bubble for the PlayStation Vita version 3.60. It is important to mention that this version, that this bubble, custom bubble, also works on the version 3.61 and 3.63, at least according to our trusty Wallalo article. And even though we currently have the Henkaku Hen for the version 3.60 and only for the version 3.60 and we have the Adrenaline ver PSP XMB e custom farmer basically also for the version 3.60 only version 3.60 this is a nice release because this does not require Adrenaline and this does not require the Henkaku also it says that it is working on version 3.61 and 3.63. This was once again released by our trusty Quick Razor 87. Even though we haven't heard a thing from him for like 10 months, he has returned and this time he gives us access to the ARC custom bubbles for version 3.60, 3.61 and 3.63. You can download it via this link. Oop, download. And what do we need? We need one random PlayStation Portable game. It cannot be a PS Vita game, it cannot be a PS1 game, and it cannot be a PS Mobile game. It has to be a PlayStation Portable game. For example, I don't know, Uno or Ape Quest demo or just any demo version, doesn't matter. Um, we have to do a few things. The first thing is actually the hardest thing we have to do. We ma have to manage to copy the pboot file into this directory. The directory is the memory stick, then slash psp, slash game, and then the folder of our game. For example, for Uno, this game ID would be npeh00020. And then we have to copy a save data to our PlayStation Vita. We can just do this via QCMA, or we can do this via FTP, but the problem with FTP is we need a Vita that's already on 360 so we can use Henkaku and via Henkaku we can transfer all these files so we can do this. If your device is already running version 3.61 or if it's already running version 3.63 then you need an exploit game which is currently not available and will most likely not be available anytime soon. So you need a device that's currently on an old version and then you could potentially upgrade to a newer version and this hack would still work on version 3.63. So you could have the hack and PlayStation Network access. And according to our article on volalo.net, I didn't write this, Aurora wrote this, this also works on version 3.63. So yeah, how do we do this? Um, at first we have to connect our PlayStation Vita with our computer. And I will switch to the PlayStation Vita to show you how to do this. On our PS Vita that is running version 3.60, we have to enable the Henkaku Hen. And to do this, we just click on our molecular shell bubble and click on the little install button. If you do not have Henkaku on your PlayStation Vita, you can simply visit beta. Oh yeah, you can simply visit beta.henkaku.xyz and install this. Sometimes your browser will give you an error message, and you can just retry it until it works. Usually, if it gives you 10 errors in a row, I just reboot my PS Vita and try it again. So you can see, sometimes it takes a few tries until it works, but there we go, an error. But eventually it should work, because this was designed to work on version 3.60. It's also worth to mention that removing the cartridge from your PlayStation Vita might increase the chances of success. And as you can see, after I got a small error message, <clears throat> and I retried it, it worked. So some things happened and now I'm able to open my molecular shell bubble. <clears throat> I installed a Vita shell bubble but this should work with molecular shell as well. And if you open this molecular or Vita shell bubble 
you get something that looks like this. It looks like the old PSP filer, just a bit more modern. And our target location, this is the main menu, <clears throat> basically, like as far as you can, can go back. And our target location is UX0. <clears throat> then we scroll down until we find PSPMU. And this is basically the location where we want our stuff to be. And since I was mentioning um, a random game as a base game <clears throat> for our hack, I'm using my Uno game and I know which path my Uno game is located in. And this path is PSP game NPEH00020. Um, if you press X on this eBoot PVP file, it will show you this scrambled menu. And as you can see it, here, it says Uno after the version number. So if you don't know which folder your game is located in, you can just open or click on the eBoot files until you find it. But if you have no or little PSP games, then you should easily find your game. So my location would be UX0 PSP MU PSP game NPEH 0020. And to properly install our file, we press select. And now our PlayStation Vita is hosting an FTP server. And with our computer, we can connect to this FTP server and then drag and drop files from our computer onto the PlayStation Vita. And we're going to do this with a pboot file because with an enabled Hankaku we can actually drag and drop eboot and pboot file which are usually not able to be moved due to spe special security which is disabled during Hankaku. So now we go back to the computer, connect to this FTP location, move a few files and then we go back to our PlayStation Vita because at the end we have to do one more thing on the Vita. Okay, back on the computer we have to connect to the FTP on our PlayStation Vita. And I'm using the program FileZilla for this. And you can simply click on this button, then create new server, enter the IP address that your PlayStation Vita shows on the menu, enter the port and the rest, I think you don't have to modify it. I already have this I already did this before, so I can just click connect. And you should see something like this. And since we knew that our location that we require is UX0, uh, PSP emulator, PSP um, game, and now NPEH00020. This is the folder I'm looking for because this is my Uno game. Then we have downloaded our arc bubble here. I'm just going to move it into my PSV hex folder. Yes, replace. And then we can just unpack it. Uh, yes, replace. I already unpacked this before, I assume. And now we have this pboot.ppp file. We just drag and drop it from here into this folder. And it's going to transfer. We right click and press refresh so we can verify if it actually transferred. Looks good. Okay. Then we go back to our. PSP folder, so we are now in UX0 slash PSP emu slash PSP and go into our save data folder. Now we drag and drop this arc folder into this directory. It's important that you do not drag it onto another folder because then it will put it inside. You drag it on the far right side so it just puts it into the save data folder. At the moment it says it wants to overwrite files because I already transferred these. So I'm just gonna say yes. On yours it will most likely not say that it wants to overwrite files because you didn't do this before. And now we're nearly done. Um, we transferred all the important files but the thing is we have to refresh our game. And to refresh our game we use QCMA and via QCMA we can copy files from our Vita to our computer and vice versa even if our Vita is not on the most recent firmware. And I have QCMA installed on my computer, so I can copy my game from the Vita to the computer, and then I copy it back from the computer to the Vita, but I do this twice. And after I did this twice, my ARC bubble should be running and working. 
And this arc bubble does not need Henkaku anymore. So if you Vita would then be upgraded to version 3.63, currently the most recent version and that's required for accessing the PlayStation Network, then that arc bubble would still be working because it was just released one day ago and the PS Vita version 3.63 was released by Sony a few months ago, so they could not have patched this yet. So if you properly configured your QCMA on the computer, like installed the custom driver for the PlayStation Vita, um, uninstalled the Sony CMA and uninstalled the Sony Vita driver, it's important that you uninstall this Vita driver, otherwise the custom driver won't be working. If you set this up properly, then it should be possible to connect your Vita to the computer without any error messages. So we now go back to the PlayStation Vita and I show you how to do this last step. Okay, back on our Vita we can now press cancel to close the FTP connection. Then if you press X on this NPH folder or whatever game you have, we can now see our file was successfully transferred because the Vita can find it. Now that we, that we verified that this file was properly com, um, transferred, we just close Vita shell. Then we disable the Wi-Fi. And as you can see, my Uno game still looks like Uno. Okay. Now I'm gonna reboot my PS Vita because if you enable Wi-Fi on the PlayStation Vita, that's not on the most recent version, and then you try to use the content manager, then the content manager will tell you, yo, your device is not on the most recent version, please update. And to fix this is simply we disable Wi-Fi, then we can optionally enable airplane mode as well. Not always required, but sometimes you need it. And then we simply reboot the PS Vita, because after a reboot, the PS Vita forgets that it, that it knows about a newer version. And as long as we don't enable Wi-Fi now, we are able to connect our Vita via USB and we should be able to use our content manager. And I do not get a screen that says please update your device so I'm able to use it. So the steps we have to do now is we copy from Vita to computer, applications, PSP slash other and then we look for our game. And I selected Uno to be my game, so I click on copy and copy it. This should take a few seconds and then this Uno is copied to my computer. Now I have a backup of this game on my computer. And the good thing about this backup is if we copy it from our computer to our Vita, but we have to do this twice, otherwise we have some UI glitches, then afterwards the Vita knows, okay, this new pboot file is in this UNO folder and the pboot file is basically a patch for the game and we can make the Vita believe that our um, arc bubble is an official patch for this game. So after copying it twice from the computer to the Vita, the Vita notices, okay, we have this UNO game and this UNO game has a little patch. At least the Vita thinks it's a patch for the UNO game. And then it's loading the patch data first and by loading this patch data first we run our arc bubble and via this arc bubble we can run homebrews and PSP ISOs and PSP CSOs so basically um, backups and pirated PlayStation Portable games depending on how you use this we just enable you to use this how and what you do with this is your job and your thing like we're not responsible for what you do with this we only give you the possible means. It does not mean that we encourage this or recommend it. Just whatever you want to do. And now I'm going back to my folder and you, we can see... Time to remove the USB cable. And we can see that my Uno bubble transferred into this Arc bubble. And if I launch this, it should launch the Arc or Pro menu. Loading, running menu. Seems good. Um, I think I've replaced my menu with the 138 menu because I like the 138 menu and now I have this menu. It looks a bit like the um, 
VHBO menu, but as you can see, it lists games like Grand Theft Auto, and if I now click X, it should launch the game and it should successfully work. There we go, running PSP games via my little arc bubble. As you can see on the top, or here, it says arc. And this is working on version 3.60, 361, and 363. The only problem is um, you have to transfer this pboot file to apply the patch. And to do this, you either need Hankaku if you're on 360, or you need a game exploit on 361 or 363. But we do not have a game exploit right now. So you're kind of lost if you already up updated to a newer version. But now that I've set up this bubble, like this bubble is already working, now I could potentially go to settings and update my Vita to 363. And this bubble would still work up to version 363. So if your device is currently in a lower version, you can set this up and then afterwards upgrade to 363 and use this. So yeah, this was my video about the arc bubble for the version for the PS Vita. 3.6x primers and this was once again released by our good friend Quick Razor. I missed you my friend. Please don't vanish again for 11 months. And I think that's basically it. Have fun with this new arc bubble. I'm the Zed and see you soon.